How's it going guys? Jeremy here with another episode of Gaming with Jeremy. Now today we are driving the 2012 BMW F10 M5. Now this car is fully built. I could not change the transmission so third gear is pretty responsive but not as responsive as it could be for drifting. Um, but yeah it does slide. Um, it's a little harder than normal cars but because of the weight and whatnot probably but yeah let's have some fun with it so i like this car one reason i like this car is because it's got a sleek and quiet sound to it you know it's not loud it's definitely not like annoying now, this thing will definitely slide yeah sometimes you might have to tap that e-brake but you know Makes it a little fun, you know what I mean? You can just feel the weight and how it just wants to go right back into position. Originally I had race tires on this thing, so I had a lot, you know, better acceleration and stuff. But it just the grip was ridiculous, so I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to slide this car with race tires on it so I just threw the, uh, the stock ones on there just to kind of see what it would do and it came out alright it's not too fast it's not too slow you know it definitely still makes it around corners as you can see I'm sliding it pretty well so it's not the hardest car in the world to drift but it's definitely not as easy as let's say like the 240 or you know the Sylvia or you know even the BMW M1 slid more than this, you know, I didn't really expect it that much to slide. Oh! Almost hit that corner there. I don't know why, I always like this color on a BMW. It's got the, uh... I just like the blue with the black rims for on BMWs. I don't know why, it's just like... I did it on the uh, the M3, the 97 M3 as well at first, but then I switched it to black and green because I like the, the exposure of the colors, I guess. But, um, but yeah, blue. Like if I had to buy one, of, like if I bought one of these in real life, it'd probably end up being like some some type of blue or maybe even a green, depending on the wheel color. But if I had the choice of wheel color, I'd definitely go, you know, blue on the black wheels. Ooh. Yes, I am tapping my e-brake a lot, only because it makes the car slide out a little bit easier than it did without it. Almost lost it there. But it's definitely not bad. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who loves drifting in this game, just because you know if you're a car guy like me, BMers are fucking sweet. And it would be kind of cool to drift a four-door Beamer in real life. So, you know, not everyone gets that chance to do it. So, why not do it in the game, right? Just tap that clutch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, too much. I don't even know if you guys can really hear it that well. So, I'll turn it up a bit. So you guys can definitely hear it. I still want you guys to be able to hear me though. That's the thing. It's got a definitely like sleek, sleek, quiet sound. That, you know, it just it just screams Beamer, or at least it screams 2012 Beamer, I guess. But if I had the choice, I would definitely choose the M3 over the M5 just because I'm a big 90s car guy. And uh, so like everything I've owned, every car I've owned has been in the 90s. I've never owned anything over 2000 before. And I, well, no, one day I eventually will because there are some sick ass cars out there. But I figure while I first start off driving, like 
since I was 16, about five years ago, that I would start off in the 90s cars, just because like, I just love them, most, most of the cars. Like my first car was a 97 Pontiac Grand Am. I mean, come on, a little four door fucking automatic piece of crap, you know, cost me under a thousand dollars just to buy it. And, you know, it was, it was a good car. <laughs> Ended up putting like a little sub in the back, so it definitely had some base to it, but just something about the 90s cars just got me, you know? And then I, went, I moved on from the Pontiac to my 99 Eclipse Spider, and that car just got me a whole, all into Mitsubishi. Like, I just, ever since then, I've been a huge, crazy Mitsubishi fan, you know? Whether it's the 3000 GT, the Eclipse, you know, all the way down to the Galant. You know, VR4, you know, it's like, always got me. You know, I've never owned a car with the 4G63 motor in it yet, but I will. You know, I'm getting there. Started off with the 4G64, which was my 99 Eclipse. Now I got the 98 Eclipse with the 420A motor. That's where my uh, Instagram name comes in. And, um, yeah. And my next car will probably end up being the all-wheel drive turbo version of that car just because I like the car so much. But if I could own this car, man, I would throw away that Eclipse in a second. At least this one, you know? Just because it would be an epic car. As long as I can make the payments and afford it, oh, hell yeah. Any day. But, you know, knowing me as a car guy, I'd probably keep the Eclipse anyway just for a side project if I wanted to do something with it or, you know, just because it's my favorite car. But, hit the camera there. Oh, then there's a wall. But anyway. does a fantabulous job of drifting. It's really fun and I highly recommend you guys trying it out. If you got the money for it, I guess. Let's look at that slide, man. It's like perfect. Let's oh. pop that clutch a little bit. All right, guys, that's going to end it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. I'll leave a little annotation for anyone who wants to subscribe who's on a PC. Um, if not, there will be a link in the description below. Um, thanks for watching another episode of Gaming with Jeremy. Stay positive and have a great day. We make the streams louder. Oh, 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 oh,